It was great to get home today with a note at the front door saying something was waiting for me at the post office. Luckily, with only minutes to spare, the post office was still open and I was able to get my parcel. In it was an order from Rockby Electronics. This is what I ordered. Some of the items are impulse buys and I'm not sure that I'd ever use them. Still, the prices were very low, especially where you had packs of 20, 40 or 50. Our first thing is a pack of 40 16.384 MHz crystals, or more precisely, crystal oscillator modules. What am I going to do with them? Well, 16.384 times 9 puts you in the 2 motor band, so you could use it to experiment with a low power 2 meter transmitter. Burrowing down a bit deeper, we have some other crystals, 49.395. Multiply that by 3 and you get just above 148 MHz, so a bit outside the 2 meter band. But if you were to use them on their fundamental and multiply it by 3 and then 3 again, you might just get below 148 as the resultant output. Or if you had a 1 MHz IF, then you could use it as a oscillator in a SUPET receiver tuning parts of the 2 meter band. And a 1 MHz IF, well, that's very easy. Almost everyone's got one in the form of an AM broadcast receiver. Even easier if you're in a country where AM radio has almost disappeared. As the tunable IF on AM, you could be slope detecting FM signals in the 2 meter band. Next we have 16.896 megahertz crystal oscillator. What are you going to do with that? If you put a tuned circuit on it that's resonant at three times that frequency, you get to just below 51 megahertz. That's out of band in Europe, but in North America and in Australia, that's still within the six meter band. So if you wanted to build a simple transmitter, where you're certainly not going to be interfered with by other 6 meter activity, then something like this could be useful. And there's 20 of them, available for very cheaply. How could I resist? These yellow things are ceramic resonators. 480 kilohertz. My thinking behind buying that was that 630 meters is around that frequency, 472 to 479. So you might be able to put this in an oscillator, VXO it down and cover 630 meters. Now we have a few other bits and pieces as well. Some crystals, 28.636. That's in the 10 meter amateur band. It's a little bit away from the most used portion, which is 28.4 to 28.5. But if you wanted to do some experiments with low power 10 meter gear, then it should be a nice quiet frequency. Just a single transistor in an overtone oscillator will give you a stable output on that frequency. Then there's a few transistors and ICs. Not sure if I'll make use of all these parts, probably not, but at the prices that were being charged, they seemed irresistible. And if I only make use with a handful of these parts, at least they'll give me some topics for videos. Oh, and I forgot, why did I make this order in the first place? It came down to 3.93 MHz ceramic resonators, needed for a friend. This has been our look at a few items purchased from Rockby Electronics. Their stock changes all the time, and they have monthly specials. So have a look at their website and see if there's anything that could be of use for your projects as well. Hello, this is Roberto, Delta Golf 1 Mac Juliet Hotel. To get the most from amateur radio, check out books by Peter Parker, VK3 Yankee Echo. For more information, visit vk3yankeeecho.com or search their titles on Amazon.